The first core practice that makes this project so unique is the project launch, which, as I mentioned, starts with our Nation X Society. When students walk in the first day, they quickly realize that the classroom has been cordoned off into four quadrants and that the resources for the people in each of these quadrants are very inequitably distributed. Throughout this three-day simulation, students have to follow several rules and laws that govern their society, and their objectives to, objective is to create a fair and functional society despite the inequitable resource distribution. Historically, this is the project that students every year as 11th and 12th graders come back and ask me if I'm doing again because students truly love it. There's a lot of moving parts, as you can see in this personalized newspaper. Each one of these goes out every day to every different period. But part of what makes this project so meaningful for students and helps them really identify clear quality criteria for what makes an effective revolution is that they can embody and reference some of the experiences that they have in the simulation and connect their own lived experience there to build some empathy around why people might choose to revolt throughout history. The real key resource from this core practice is the Nation X Manual. This comes from the Envision Schools Project Exchange, and this document really outlines all of the resources as well as all of the different um, feudal classes and what students' jobs, descriptions, perks, and privileges are for each one of those different classes.